to publicly recognise the huge contribution that volunteers make to my Mayo community, to South Australia and indeed to Australia. Every month I travel thousands of kilometres across my electorate meeting new community groups who have banded together to make their small corner of the world a better place. Most recently I met with the McLaren Vale Hospital volunteers who raised funds for the McLaren Vale District's War Memorial Hospital through the community op shop. I consider myself an op shop aficionado and uh, they have an impressive array of second-hand offerings including electrical goods thanks to a number of volunteers who have electrical qualifications and can test and tag. I'd like to give a shout out to Trevor, um, who found just the perfect 1990s coffee percolator for my husband. Yes, he likes brewed coffee. Um, the volunteers at the op shop tell me they offer more than just low-cost clothes, shoes and knickknacks. Many come in for a chat and a bit of company, and I find that is the case with many volunteer organisations. The McLaren Vale Hospital Volunteers Op Shop is open on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays from 9am to 12.30pm and every first and third Saturday. While you're in town, if you head around the corner, you will also be able to drop into the McLaren Vale and District's RSL and have a chat to Brian, Cliff and Darrell, who provide free pension advice service to all serving and ex-serving members of the Australian Defence Force. They also offer a fantastic lunch on Wednesday afternoons. And wherever I may be travelling in, in my electorate, I always um, am joined in my car by a very another important volunteer, and that's community radio. Community radio is something I'm particularly passionate um, about because for many years I volunteered on Coast FM, and I've got to say I loved every minute of it. Community radio is truly about community. It's the only place where you can have a jazz program, a heavy metal program and a gardening uh, segment all on within the same two hours. I can be chatting to Janet at Happy FM, a retired teacher who's passionate about opportunities for local young people, and then one week and then heading to Flurio FM the next week to talk about surfing and pet dogs with 11-year-old host Ryder. It is also a pleasure to talk anything but politics with Mike from Triple Z in McLaren Vale and to discuss local issues with Diane at Alex FM on the Flurio. All of our community radio stations are run by volunteers for their community and they do an amazing job. Volunteers provide innumerable hours for their, and their valuable time and labour, and it is a contribution that I and my community greatly appreciate. And I also wish to recognise the great work that the Peak Organisation of Volunteers in South Australia, Volunteering SA, and in particular CEO um, Evelyn O'Loughlin, who tirelessly advocates and supports volunteers in my home state. Volunteering Australia estimates that the annual contribution of volunteering to our national economic and social wellbeing is $290 billion. Australia is the great place it is today because of volunteering, but I am concerned for the future. Where are the young people who will volunteer in the op shops, who will visit our elderly in the aged care homes, who will learn the skills needed to keep community radio stations alive? The government must take steps today to ensure valuable services provided by our volunteers survive and thrive in the years to come. That is why I'm joining Volunteering Australia's call to the Australian government to formally recognise the contribution and value of volunteering um, through a volunteering statement. By issuing the statement, um, the government can show leadership <coughs> to tens and thousands of uh, organisations that are involved in volunteering um, and the one in three Australians who participate in volunteering. A volunteering statement would be the first uh, step in a more comprehensive and strategic approach to supporting the volunteer workforce, articulating a vision and guiding government action and investment over the long term. Our communities rely on volunteering and we must not take it for granted. Finally, to the thousands of volunteers in Mayo from the Country Fire Service and the Surf Life Saving Clubs that watch over us during these hot summer months, to the kindness and joy that radiates from the Christmas Visitor Scheme volunteers and the elderly residents that visit them, I am, we are, indebted for your generosity and may I humbly say thank you. <laughs> 